Hey guys, Miss Jagger here, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War. France, France, yes. England versus Europe, technically. In the last episode, we had a fair amount of fighting going on. Um, though, weirdly enough, for some reason, the game did not save. I don't know why, but I clicked on the save button. I've just loaded back into it, um, having taken a small break, i.e. work. And, um, yeah, it didn't save. Which is puzzling, because I remember saving before I left the game. So, I guess a corruption of some sort, I'm not too sure. But either way, um, I can't access it either. I went to the load thing to see whether or not it was there, but nope wouldn't let me do it. So, technically speaking, what just happened with those two units didn't actually happen at all. Which does provide me a little bit of an incentive, because my idiot of a commander, Duke of Wellington, is now alive, technically speaking, and I haven't spent a shit ton of gold and money resources on him, so I'm thinking maybe as a sort of plan, if I can... No, that will take too long. God damn it. Hmm. See, what I want to do is... You know, I'm going to recruit... I'm going to hold off for a second. Rather than make the attack, because it is only two units. Oh, man, I'm going to go to the middle over there with you. So you're okay there. Navy over here is doing not so great, but we have got some... We have a 38 frigate. We've got about how many more turns? Two more turns till that comes in. So, okay, not entirely surprised... Not, well, not entirely sure why it didn't work out. I, I, I thought I saved. I might have not, but... That's a bit silly of me if that was the case, but... Ha. Huh. I was convinced I saved, but I must have made a mistake then. But either way, it kind of helps because, well, that was a pointless battle to begin with. Because I was hoping to catch these guys in the process, which is what I, my main objective is. So next episode... Next episode. Next turn, actually, what I might do is I might leave these guys too. They're going to be pissed. But if I turn off the taxes for you for a turn, then you can get the people there. The next episode... Ne next episode. Yes, because we're going to leave him there this entire episode now. The next e turn, I'm then going to see if these guys don't move, I'm going to make a move and uh, knock out these guys. Try and knock out a Spanish army in one fell swoop. Because we need a victory. With Ivan kind of surrounding us, I mean, the previous freaking battle, oh my god. Piss take that was. Basically what occurred was um, a French, sorry, a Russian navy moved up, attacked our navy, uh, moved up, I attacked it, going to intercept um, what the French, you know, basically I went to intercept. Oh, you're going to try and cut my trade off, aren't you? Oh, no, he's not. Um, I went to cut off the, the Russian attack, which I thought was going to work. But then all of a sudden, the Russian fleet just ended up withdrawing closer to my navy. Oh, and speaking of which. And it's like, you, oh. Achoo! Excuse me. So, yeah, we, we had a bit of a bullshit moment there, because I'm like... Because, like, I defeated him. Like I said, hey, let's attack. And they were like, victory! And I assumed because I had, like, four vessels on one, it was going to be a cakewalk. But no. Wow, they are literally all scattering. It's like, ah! <laughs> oh, you have not just blocked my path. Wow. Dick move. Well, the good news is, I can actually repair in these ports, so it's fine. Not happy about it, because they are technically blocking the port, but... I have got a couple of Indianmans now. It's only one vessel, 38 frigate, but still. Not not great. Ready and waiting. Right. You three, don't know how much it's going to cost. That's not great, because I kind of wanted to spend more money on other things, but... Uh, merchant house. Let's see. That's going to be a fair amount. I'm not going to lie. That would be kind of nice. How much does it cost? A little bit pricey. Might hold off just yet. Okay, Indian ship there. Hey, the mine has been constructed. Fantastic work. Right, you are going to build a magistrate. Yeah, I think magistrates probably are best yet. You're doing fine over there. You're doing fine over there. You... Mm, we need something. I'm thinking... I'm thinking in the north for Scotland... That's how we could do with some infantry, because... Uh, bollocks. Oh, uh, if only I could convert. Oh, I can technically convert. But then that would make sense to... Yeah, we'll get a cantonment going. It's a bit annoying, because in, in the Empire, that was a larger settlement. So, 
And we're going to need access to fra to, to uh, Scottish soldiers because they are shit hot. Your Majesty. Right, if I turn that off, they're okay. So if I just recruit one more militia unit, keep him Your around because I don't have any intention on moving out anytime soon. Thing is, I don't, I don't want to get caught between like a rock and a hard place with all these different armies, you know. I think we should try and make a move for Barcelona. I, I, I stressed how much I didn't want to do that in the previous episode because it would mean I have to fanatically rush across to the other side in case Madrid decides to make a move. Uh, you? What do you require? No, you kind of. No, I think I need you as an early warning system. Yes, my lord. So I want you to go across. Actually. Yeah. Are you on a bridge? You're kind of on a bridge. But I'm also stopping trade, apparently. Am I raiding a trade route? Okay, I'm apparently blocking trade. I don't know how, but... <laughs> 135. That's pathetic, but okay. I don't know, if I'm caught... I just... I, just, I want him Your to move. Order? Right, can I just tell him to move onto the... Uh, move on the bridge! There we go. Forwards! For crown and country! Whatever. Anyway, okay, so now that's that sorted. Um, we can now potentially make a move on Barcelona if I should choose to. I might go with Barcelona because the main thing is I want to Blitzkrieg Spain. I mean, admittedly, my Blitzkrieg is taking me half crossway, halfway across the year, but you get the point. If we can knock out Spain early in the war, or at least force her onto an island where she is not going to be that useful. Um, ah, yes. You can't quite do it yet. But if we can be an asshole to other nations. Ah, uh, you see, there's the reason. Indian men trade. Where to, Captain? Right, now let's let's play safe. One more turn till you're sorted, then I'll quickly transport Horatio over towards here, whereupon then he can fix his shit, go into battle, and be like, what up, me bitches? Because Horatio Nelson said that before he was shot. Just imagine that. <laughs> I, could <laughs> I could just imagine with his famous speech, England expects every man to do his duty, and all that jazz, and then someone's like, uh, as he goes to surprise the French, he's like, What up, me Frenchies? <laughs> God. That sounds amazing, but also horrible in historical terms at the same time. <laughs> Oh god, I think he would have turned in his grave if someone had... I think he's just turned in his grave now, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, so France is attacking Russia. They're really laboring on the, the uh, Russians at the moment. Russia's been very aggressive this time. I mean, I've never seen so many Russian ships. I am, of course, worried, but then again. To be honest with you, if I could script the game so it would have everyone against me, I would probably, A, die very badly, but also, um... Supporting our allies. Capture the city of Rennes. And <laughs> no. Oh, Württemberg is gone. Württemberg is gone. Here is Württemberg. Fairly convinced Württemberg is around here. That might be the one. Construction report. Ah, fantastic. We've now got some roads. And at Gibraltar, we have some shit. Ah, good. Train ship. Right. Can I access the port? I hope I can. No! We can still. Screw you. I'm going to port. Screw you. Ah! You dick. You know what? Okay, we're going to have to pull you back, because I don't want to lose these guys to the French again. How many ships? Okay, one. We can shoot off one. Wow, a trade sh- Yeah, I'm nicking, I'm nicking one, because you, your, your assholes sunk mine. Orders received and understood. And watch as our income goes to shit. But fixing our navy will do us wonders, because once we've done... 
as I said, once we've earned naval superiority, we'll be able to start benefiting from capturing these trading nodes. Um, right, okay. You're in a position to make an assault. I want to see what's going on. Don't approach it too quickly. Shit. Right. We have, I think, an artillery advantage, but they do have, like, the benefit of a shit ton of dudes. Buildings. It's only got that and that. So, technically speaking... Your Majesty. What? What? Uh, the thing is, we've got, like, a number of infantry units, whereas they've got a fucking shit ton of infantry units. Also got grenadiers and nine yes. pounder foot artillery. I don't feel 100% happy about this attack, but I think... Oh, they got dragoons as well. If they didn't have Hello. cavalry, I think we would be in a much better position, but I don't think I'm in a very good position to attack right now. Because not only that, they'll have the benefit of the shite tons of um, things, but let's go for a cheeky save. I'm feeling brave in a stupid sense. And I think this would be a ballsy move to, in the begin with, so I think if we make a ballsy move now, we might be able to win this. Siege them. Okay, so here's what we got. They've got three different types of cavalry, which is good, because it means there's no dedicated. They have the same artillery advantage as we do. We have a technical advantage because our dudes are a little bit better. None of their dudes are elite. I've, I've got Duke of Wellington, so that kind of counts. They do outnumber us. They've got garrison infantry and a lot of other things, but if we can kill their general, I think we can do it. I don't think it's going to be easy by any stretch of the word, but even if we don't win this battle, I want to try and kill their general. If we can knock their general out, that will make life a lot easier for our guys on the ground. Now, hopefully, the enemy won't force me to attack. Because I will basically... If we're lucky, the enemy might put their cannon in a really stupid position. They have done that before. What will happen is they'll put, they'll basically put their cannon behind buildings. Oh my god, it's amazing when they do that. I can, I, I remember once I had, I was playing Empire against the Austrians. Uh, well, I was playing, uh, I was playing Britain as Britain on Empire, vanilla, admittedly, and it was kind of mid to mid 17th, 18th century. Fuck, they have uh, not put them behind the thing. Great. Anyway, so I'm... Oh, okay, that's a very official formation. Okay, they outnumber us. But that's fine. I want them to push. Right, if we can counter-battery them before they can get... Right, are you in range? No. So they're going to want to try and roll into position. I think it would be a good idea to position our guns accordingly. You, Jaeger Infantry, I want you to be the front line. I hate to make you guys suffer, but you will be shot to fucking shit. It is a, excuse me, a fact of life. Right, you're light cavalry, aren't you? Light Dragoons. What are they over here? Dragoons? Yeah, shit. Dragoons. It, it's good and it's not good, because it's good in the sense that they haven't got dedicated heavy Dragoons, but the problem is they have all basically one of the good shit, whereas all of my shit is light. So these guys are not very good in melee uh, on like against superior cavalry. Okay, elite... Elite infantry, I want you to push... Taking cover alongside this perspective here. Regular infantry, I want you taking cover along here. Commander, I don't want you to die because yes, you're an sir. idiot, apparently, on the battlefield. Oh, you can fire already. Good. Right, roll into position and ruffle stomp them. Roll into this position and hide. I want you to hold over there. Who are you shooting at? Buddy? Firing. Oh, okay, you had to go at their Cazadors. Okay. Fuck, Cazadors in Fallout 4. Well, I'm gonna say. Okay, so the Spanish are making a move. If I can get those guns, that'll make my life a lot easier. Can, can you technically shoot at them? I think you can. I don't think all of them. I don't think... I don't know. Okay. 
they're probably going to have a go at my um, Jaeger infantry as well as my uh, oh shit you get into that dip over there you're not hidden are you no you are not hidden right they're unlimbering aren't they or are they yeah they're unlimbering I kind of want to hide my infantry now. Run, you dumb bastards! Okay, so it would appear that they're trying to use the Jaeger advantage over to a degree. Ah, we're hitting these guys, though. Oh, we've done a good job as well. Nice. Who are they going to pop shells at? Are they going to try and pop shells at my light infantry? This ditch should provide my men some decent cover. Neither of my cavalry are taking are having any hidden advantage. They're literally. I don't understand how they. I mean, technically speaking, I wouldn't see that if that was if without the blue marker. Obviously, I wouldn't be seeing that. Oh, don't tell me you're you're not hidden. Oh God. You should be hidden anyway because you're using Jaeger infantry. Oh, you bastards. You've also... Pl oh, no. You haven't. Okay, that's something to be reassured about. Okay, so... Well, if that's the case, I will take advantage of screwing up your formation and getting free shots because I'm a scumbag. Right, let's speed these things up a little bit. Okay, so... Whilst these guys are taking their time setting up formations, maybe... They seem to be reacting to this lot and this area. This area they're not so fussed about, which is kind of good in a sense because it means then my cannons can just focus on blasting whatever kind of infantry are around. Uh, regiment of foot. I want to focus on line infantry, I think would be a good idea. Wish my uh, cannon was a little bit more accurate though. Way he says as he takes out those dudes. Yeah, that's the only disadvantage in this game. Well, not did well. That's the only disadvantage with early game cannon is that it's not very helpful. If I had some um, howitzers, oh my god, those are amazing. I was playing on uh, what was it, Empire with uh, the Darth mod this time, and I, you know, I hadn't played Empire in a long time, and I was sort of wanting to play as an actual nation rather than the Indians. And when I got my hands on a on an experimental howitzer, which would allow me to have the not the quick climb shot. Just the standard uh, flame shot. That shit is the most deadliest shit you will find ever. Like, there were castles and fortresses that were no longer a threat. Because I used to hate siege assaults um, in Empire. Ironically, the one game where I didn't like siege assaults um, suddenly made siege assaults a lot more enjoyable. Because instead of having to deal with a shit ton of... Um, Instead of having to deal with, like, the frustration of losing shit tons of infantry, you know, of your guys, um, instead of having to... I'm going to go Rangers, I'm going to move these guys. I'm going to nudge these guys up ever so slightly. I can't nudge them up with the thing. Damn it. Right, I'm going to slowly move them up. Very slowly move them up. Probably going to trigger those guys, aren't they? Oh, they're not doing too bad. Um, yeah, so... You, especially with the Darth mod, you can see the amount of infantry each army gets. Like, light infantry get, like, a shit ton, 240 dudes. Or, uh, if you're dealing with militias, let's see, militia, 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 there we go. So you get, like, 500 of these guys, and in some settlements you get, like, three squads of these. So even though they're, like, really crap infantry, the sheer presence of numbers actually comes into a factor which will cause problems. Which I think, with regards to how things go with that, Having that as a problem, you know, it's a legit problem. You you can't odds it. So when you have scenarios where, um, like, you have when you have the ability just to wipe the floor with them in like one fell swoop, it is. I could not believe how much luck I had when I like because they would just stand there and you would throw these experimental howitzers into position once you'd taken care of like uh, any mortars. Poof down their um, armies would go, and you just, I just stood there, I just sat there in disbelief, I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, this was modern war, oh my god, you know, that actually should be a phrase, that um, 
should be utilized. I apologize for my very scummy tactics, but I want to make sure that when these bastards go into contact, I want to make sure that my guys have as much of a chance. God, they're like right there as well. If only I could increase it by a little bit. Like, increase that range by that and just z z z nudge. <laughs> nudge the guys up till they can start shooting. <laughs> oh, God. This game makes me feel like a scumbag sometimes. Oh, well. If you can't beat them, join them. Then whack them over the head while they head... What, stab them in the back while they're not looking. L literally standing right in front of them. An entire freaking army. Right, let's go back to the normal. Oh! Shit, that's not good. That's not good. Who is charging? They're charging. They're all going ballistic. I think it's the cavalry. Shit, it's the cavalry. Run the fuck away! <laughs> Just beware the cavalry. Indeed, beware the fucking cavalry. Oh, that's terrifying, isn't it? Are you setting up your guns? going on? Infantry reporting. I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. Actually, this could be a good maneuver. Right, you lot. Make a beeline for it. You turn around. Reacquire your targets. If only I could drag my guns up a little bit more. I could pulverize those bastards. Doing too bad for damaging infantry. I mean, we're not killing them outright, but we're doing a good job. Swiss grenadiers, I think we will target them. Okay, so you're ruffling up your cavalry feathers. I'm not. Why would you send your. I don't know. I'll tell my cannon to focus on you now. I'm really curious, actually. These units... I kind of want to rush my, um, my Jaeger infantry to pop a few shells. I think I might do that. Because if these guys aren't going to react, then I'm just going to pop a few shells in their direction. Give my, light inf give my Jaeger um, cavalry as good a chance as it can get. Move up and ruffle stomp, gentlemen! <laughs> Handy thing about dragoons, in a sense, is that they can't hide in forests. Which means uh, my guys can just roll up, hopefully, and just pop a few shells in their direction. In the open! Like, these guys are just standing there! They can see the enemy right there! It's like, holy shit, there's the British! They're not doing anything. Neither are these guys, to be honest. To a cavalry light. Try it. <laughs> I dare you. They're close. My god, are they close? They're not doing anything. <laughs> These guys are not doing anything. Look, I'm right there. You couldn't have a better chance to, like, canister shot my dudes. And my cannons are just going off as they please. Focus on knocking out that Jaeger infant, uh, that Grenadier infantry. Oh my god, are you serious? My guys are tired as well. I think it's because they're in the light uh, light infantry behavior. Are they just known as light infantry? Oh, light foot. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I would just got to call them Jaeger, but yeah. Move slightly forwards until you can get some cheap shots. I can't believe what I'm doing. I kind of figured they would do something else. I mean, I know I'm playing on a slightly easier difficulty, but I didn't realize the AI would be that dumb. Oh, there we go. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Are you seriously letting me shoot? You? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? They really are doing nothing. They're like literally charging. They can't make their minds up. <laughs> this is glorious. Oh. Uh-oh. 
Are you are you activating your cannon? Come on. I think I might have to tone down the settings to a degree in order to Oh shit. Get out. It's a lot of dead. That is a lot of dead. I lost like nearly 20 guys. Shit! And there, of course, that's when they come. Run! Go! 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 Thank you for waiting. So hang on, let the cavalry engage first. There we go. How's you doing, chaps? Swing round. Oh, if only I could knock out that cannon. Go crazy, guys. Turn around and engage. Withdraw. We've taken a bit of casualty, but... Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's how you call annihilation of cavalry. Fuck yeah. Jaeger and tanks. You're firing, aren't you? Shit. Right, we need to get you into position. Right, you guys need to be in a position. I think I can get away with shooting at these guys if I can. They're tired, which is the downside, but that's fine. Grenadiers have taken a bit of a pummeling. We've done a bit of damage, though. We've knocked out some cavalry. I am happy with that. Kind of I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. I wish those light infantry weren't there. Because they have the same range as I do. It's kind of a nice balancing act, to be honest with you. Oh, but because they're a little bit... Fuck, they are a bit too close. Shit. not doing that much damage to them either, which is worse. Right. Can you hit at least a couple of these guys? Any fucking casualties to that bloody cannon unit. I just need that bloody cannon taken out. What's the range of my guns? See, it's just too far away. If I could knock those blasted cannon out. Focus your fire on that militia garrison. Maybe by annihilating them to a degree, we might get some chances. I don't know what to do. I just want to knock out the cannon. Tell you what, let's make a push. Elite infantry begin to make a slow assault towards them. Because I've got infantry right in bloody front of them, and they're not using their cannon. So maybe by... Spread the infantry out, though, just in case. You rest up a little bit because you are very tired. Fall back into a normal units. Okay, that's kind of good. I'm half tempted to relocate and try and see if I can get some kills on this point. The only downside is they've still got some cavalry, but they're not doing anything at the moment. So, I'm a little bit puzzled. This battle is taking long, admittedly, but... We could try and find... We need just to find a crack in their defences. Just something that says, right, um... Bang, there's there's the weak point. Because at the moment they're what they've got as an advantage is extremely good. And obviously we're we're not in a very good position right now. I haven't got the numbers to really take advantage of it fully. You lot, I want to try and be cheeky and throw in an attack on this side. Actually, what you do first, go here. No 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 no. Go here first. 
then go here, but use the crest as a line guard. You, I need you to sort of go here, provide support in case the artillery... Is he hitting the ground as well? No, 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 they are firing. Okay, again, they're reacting to something, but to what, I don't know. You know what, if it's now, it's never. Now or never. It's gonna get my shit killed, but... We've gotta take those cannons out. It's gonna be a dangerous thing, because if my cavalry hits that... It's, it's fucked. Right, go, go, go. Right. Go for those Cazadors. Go for those Cazadors. You guys, get the fuck out of there. You lot, set up a defensive line along this cluster here. No, 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 no. Set up a defensive line along this cluster. You guys get the fuck out of there. You guys... Murder, 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 murder. Right, you guys. Right, okay, we've now disabled their cavalry uh, cannon advantage. Get the fuck out of there. Run! Run, you stupid bastards. Cannon, focus your fire on those hussars. Prepare for a shit kicking, guys. You're gonna get a nasty one. Right, defensive position along this line here. General stop. Get moving, you stupid bastards. You, I want you to focus along the defensive perimeter along here. You, run thy fuck away. You, I know you're incredibly tired, but I need you to set up a defensive line here. Actually, no, go Jaeger. Extend the line that way. Run, 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 run. You, you're taking some damage, admittedly, and you're going to do some shit tons of damage anyway. That's fine. I don't want you getting completely smacked over. Right, engage, new lot, swing around, fire on those guys. Did I say you could shoot the other dudes? No. Shoot them. Open. Break, break, break. No, don't return to good morale. Fuck, right. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Right, we outnumber them by a fair amount, but the problem is these bastards... Oh, can't do it. Get the fuck out of there. Go, 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 go. Just get the fuck out of there. Right. Oh my god! Run! Did I say you could prance about like an inbred son of a smeghead? No! Shit! About face! Get going! Oh my god! Run! As in, go! There you go, Jesus Christ! Right, shoot into the back of that. About face, shoot into the back of that. I want those horsemen dead. You lot, focus and... That's a lot of fucking infantry, I'm not gonna lie. Right, swing. What 
the hell are you doing? Right, they're finally withdrawing. I don't know why that took them so long to do, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Right, pull back, you lot. It's a lot of fucking infantry versus three regiments. I don't know if they're going to hold, I'll be honest with you. You lot, I want you to run in... I want you to be a skirmish. You lot, I want you to form behind those guys, you... This is where having... Right. Are they just forming up for a massive line battle? Yeah, focus on the line infantry garrison. Oh, you've got to be joking! Oh no, thank the Emperor. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I thought for a second there on their cannon was still active, but nope, it's fine. They got demounted. But that is fine. Right, you eyes. I know you're incredibly damaged, but... Fuck him over like, if you can. Oh, you son of a bitch. Return fire on those assholes. That's it, make him squeal. Right, cavalry, I know you're tired and you probably don't want to fight these guys, but we need you to stay up. Right, section by section, withdraw. guys somewhat freaked out. That's better than nothing. Right, you. Across the flanks. Go. Yeah, I might have to tone down the settings to, like, high, just so that way we can try and... Withdraw to a secondary line defense. Keep... Okay, you're distracted with my cavalry? Good. I want to make you focus the cavalry, then. Draw. Say about there. Is Center line isn't doing too well. All right, we have to reform on that section. You guys are going crazy, but that's good. Keep focusing on breaking that center line. Run, you stupid bastards! That was close. That is so close. They're enveloping our flank as well. This is not good at all. Right, run a fuck away, run a fuck away, run a fuck away. Go, go, go. What the fuck are these Spanish doing? I don't know. But they are not... They are not fighting how they should. Focus your middle line, swing round, cavalry, 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 where the fuck are the cavalry? Go for that citizenry! If you rip the shit out of them, that should do something. They are just running! It doesn't even matter where to, it's just they're fucking running! But before I even get a chance to set up and fire, I have to withdraw again. I need to push this flag then. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Infantry reporting. A 
Okay, good news is that army regiment is broken. This is good. Right, you two, concentrate the fire on them. You two, stop. You okay? You, you. Yes, Shoot. Come on, General, get his job. No! Oh my god! You may be the fucking worst. You may be the worst cavalry units I've ever had the misfortune of commanding. You're worse than the fucking sardines. And that's saying something. Right, withdraw. You know, ironically, despite this supposedly being an 18th, 19th century, early 19th century combat game, we're doing a lot of blitzkrieg maneuvering. Rapid fire, relocate. Fire, relocate. Fire, relocate. Come on, come on, come on. Just kill their general. If we can kill their general, game over for them, because that will do a shit ton of damage to their morale, and that is definitely what we want. Fuck, they're in the forest as well. Right, split them off. You go that way. We have killed their generals. Yes! Now they must break. That has definitely done a good on morale. Right, general's gone. Go for their armed citizenry. They're probably going to break any fucking second. Yep, gone. Their jobs have been destroyed. How are you guys doing? We're taking a shit ton of fire, but... Great bad infantry. Right, they're broken. Good. This is what I'm hoping for. Swing round, engulf them on the flank. You go make sure they don't come back. Jaeger Elite, high over there. You guys rip the shit out of them. Fucking beautiful job you're doing. I said get into combat with them. Did I say have a sandwich and enjoy the fun with you? Sir, our general is under attack. Got way more wary about that now because the chances of my die guy dying are just that much higher. Right, relocate. You, relocate. This section of the, of the army route of it. General staff. Okay, you're routing from the scene. You probably gonna we're probably gonna lose these cavalry regiments relatively soon, but return return fire. Our men are running for. That's fine. That is completely fine. That is fine. I don't care. Right, go for them. Cannon. About face and fire on that line. Can on it. Why aren't you shooting back? The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Those guys are breaking. We're taking a shit ton of damage here, but we're fine. At the moment, I say. It's a little too close to the red line of death. Those guys could run. That would be brilliant, because then I could send these guys back. Right, make a beeline for that position. 
General, where are you? Oh, God. Right, we're massacring those dudes. Pull back. Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. If you die, we lose the battle. Square by oars. Right, you lot. Stop shooting, because you're now shooting yourselves. have a cavalry advantage again, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, reform the artillery in this position so you can have shots on virtually every fucker on the field. No square. General stop. back at those fuckers. Good salvo. One hit, one kill. That is very bad. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Fuck. Right, Jaeger infantry pull back, provide support to the cannon. You, about... You're about... You're used to this has died. That's it. You're gone. Uh, it's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to have to go for it. focusing on the dudes. Run up into position, rip the shit out of his ass. Morale boost. going on. Relocate, relocate, relocate. Can on it. Focus your fire on that line infantry over there. Jaeger infantry fall back along the line. Stop being a Jaeger infantry anymore. Pile over there. Run. You're ripping the shit out of them, that's good. I want you to go take care of them now. You guys, run into position, provide support to the other flank. We can now link up with our armies. Shit! Come on, catch them in the act. They're not, atten they're not paying attention and we're going to have a rear assault. Don't die. Hoping my out my infantry outflanking the other guys are gonna cause problems. Right, you guys regroup with those guys. Oh god, this guy's taking a fucking shit kicking. Right, get over there. Withdraw. Are oh, those fucking casadors again? No, it's good, there's not casadors this time. Are you right, you're going for them. Swing around. 
down and go and engage. Cannon. Concentrate your fire on those dudes. Swing round. Draw a bit. Actually, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Swing round, swing round, swing round. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Sir. Shit. Now get the fuck out. Run out of line. I, you know what? This is the rarest of occurrences. I don't often run out of ammo in battles. It's how long that it last. We've wait, spent this entire bat. We've spent nearly the entire video just fighting this one battle, but it's kind of pivotal. Regroup. Form on those guys. Right. You guys get moving. You guys take a bit of a back seat. We defeat these guys. We kill the entire garrison. Right, you guys, if we can just break this line here, we can then send the reinforcements over towards there. I think there's enough fighting for my general then, yeah. Who's he shooting at? Focus your fire on that now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, citizen, we are gone. They're gone. Good, good. A lot of units are withdrawing. Right, I want you to form up another line along this point. You guys can relocate. Hit this line pretty well. Okay, they're breaking. Good, good. These guys are returning, which is not great, but the thing is we've got cannon advantage now, so that's fine. They, they just won't quit. I mean, we've killed their general, which I thought would cause enough of a morale penalty that these guys would break fairly quickly, but I guess not. Jesus Christ, are they, are they charging me? No, they're not. Come on, mass route, mass route, mass route. Like half of your infantry are running away. That would cause a general mass route, right? Yep, that's it. Just that infantry over there with... Are you breaking as well? Yeah, that's it. We've got him. That's it. That was the clincher. Wait, no. There's two units back. That's it, though. And that's it. That is how you do it. A long battle. A very long battle. But good, nonetheless. That was a pretty good victory. We took a lot of casualties, but considering we were outnumbered, we like, we... We are mighty and unbowed. There we go. So we lost, like, 1k, which is not great, because we only had 3k to begin with. But they lost 5 thousand dudes Raise the flag. and we're going to be able to peacefully occupy this area infrastructure shit but we're going to be recruiting and we're going to be getting our dudes back as well mm, there's a little bit of a slow replenishment rate but we're going to be getting our guys back and that's another region now that's not going to be um threatened by that so we're just gonna have a couple we're gonna have a, like next turn pray to the emperor we're gonna get and i'm gonna recruit a couple of infantry regiments just so we can defend uh, Polandia, because we have got like a small garrison here. It's just we're gonna need. Um... Oh God! <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> we're gonna be. Uh... Yeah, this of course is dependent on whether those guys are gonna return. I have taken a sufficient amount of casualties, though. Definitely not good on that front, but we've done pretty good. I'd say we've done pretty good for ourselves. Okay. Oh, yeah, our Navy. How are we doing? Oh, we're still fixing our Navy, aren't we? Yeah, we're still fixing it. Right, okay. End of the turn. See what Spain does. Spain could make a move for um, Pol Polovia. Without a doubt, she could make a move for it. And I think France is going to make a, move, a dick move on our... No, they don't. They do not. They withstand. They withhold. I am most curious. The hell are they doing? Well, the war seems to be very equal at the moment. Like, we're just sort of... 
maybe hmm. they're at war but they're not really fighting me which is kind of weird again the Spanish infantry are they're mobilizing but they're not doing anything ah right technology this is good bottling and canning now my navy is not as expensive as before right national debt this is going to be the thing that will help us out a lot. What's that? It's not bad. That's not, but that's not as bad, but I think that's probably going to help us out a lot. Especially since in about two turns we're going to get that advantage of a shit ton of stuff, which is useful. Um, right, so we have 2,900 for you. Oh, you can get this happiness meter up, which is good. Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. You're kind of eh about things. I can I can get grenadiers with here. Shit. And Black's Brun I love how I get Brunswick. It's like, yes. Swiss line infantry. These guys are well good, aren't they? Right, okay. 38 accuracy, 28 recording skill, 10 ammunition, range 110, melee attack, whatever. Pretty good. Comparison to, say, my usual line infantry. They're actually not as good. Swiss line infantry aren't as actually good. Oh, okay. British infantry are better. These guys are the shit, though, because they are awesome. And, of course, German infantry, because German infantry is superior. Uh, that will... I think having that would be a good idea, but I want to prioritize and get some... a couple of units of infantry. Kind of the same down here, to be honest with you. In the Navy. I thought we fixed this, but oh well. Oh, it's fine. I don't think it's going to last. Right, you go to here. Orders, orders. You, I want you to go to here. Under sail. Any oh. orders? Never mind. You are not going there. You're going aye, here sir. instead. Ships orders, aye, aye, Captain. Right. Yes, Let's be an asshole to the Spanish. That's a break. We should be fine. We are victorious. How? How does a 122-gun ship fail that hard? Please tell me that you fixed your ship. Right. Yep. Good. Right, Horatio Nelson is becoming a mother-trucking badass, which is lovely. We do need to kill this navy, though. There's a lot of big ships. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. We are now having less stuff to worry about. What the hell's a Razi? rate 38 gun rate fifth rate uh, we couldn't can't really afford any more Razis, can we? We'll experiment. I think having some Razis would probably help out a lot in combat. In combat. Uh, I'm thinking also accruing some more troops to withstand the garrison over at Navaria. Once we've had a few more turns then, that should be alright. So that's about it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies it was just the big-ass battle, but considering the amount of shit we had to deal with in regards to that we've dealt Spain a severe blow. We've not only taken two territories off them now, but we've also crippled them by taking out a huge army. And we killed their general. So that's a pretty good amount of stuff. Obviously, we've still got this humongous army to deal with, uh, a lot of it being cavalry. So that is something we have to be aware of. Uh, not to mention, of course, a scattered amount of infantry resistance as well. Once we've taken care of Spain, um, I'm definitely feeling... 
I definitely think we should probably consider making a... Like, yeah, I definitely feel once we've taken out Spain, or at least captured Madrid, we can then start maybe making, making a push towards either knocking out Spain completely, or what I kind of want to do is I want to kind of put some pressure on France. But then again, France is currently busy with Russia and Prussia. Uh, so maybe going for Spain's, like, for knocking Spain completely out would kind of help, because they do have a lot of Navy presence. And if we only have to worry about the, the French, uh, the Navy-wise, then I think that would probably be okay. Not overly keen about... Um, oh, yeah, hang on. Let's see if we can try and get to them. Let's see if I can get my trading node back. What I want to do also is I definitely want to take out the Dutch. The Dutch are kind of annoying at the moment. Um, this is not something which I'm overly keen on because obviously I'll have to go... It's pretty much a jump into there, but to take out the uh, the Dutch would make things a lot easier because, first of all, their navy wouldn't be bothering us down south because that is a formidable navy. I don't know what's inside said navy, but it's formidable nonetheless. So that's something I need to be careful about. We also need to realize... We also need... By taking them out, of course, we also get a bit of a ground on um, Britain in the... No well, we get a bit of ground in Europe on the Northern Hemisphere, which is kind of useful. Um, and once that's sort of secure, we can then start maybe pushing towards Paris or um, north towards uh, Württemberg and perhaps Denmark to sort of try and solidify our position. But as said, not entirely sure which way is the best way at the moment. But right now, I want to concentrate on knocking Spain out of the war because once Spain's taken care of, we have a, a flank, in a sense, covered. And then afterwards, we can start our purge of everything that isn't British over here. So, thank you guys very much indeed for watching this episode. Apologies, as I said, it was a bit of a major battle one. But it was quite an important one. And I will see you guys next time. This is Miss Jager signing out.